Okay, welcome. Um, I will go ahead and get us started. Welcome to our second public hearing for proposed um, rule changes to uh, Chapter 102-1601, Supplemental Education Services. Um, we will go ahead and open the public comment um, session. Currently, we have one registrant, so I will read your um, directions here, Stephen. Please clearly state and spell your full name. If you're representing an organization, please clearly state the name of that organization. You'll have three minutes to speak, and I will start the timer after you've stated your name and the organization that you are representing. And you should see a timer um, uh, to direct you to your three minutes, but if not, I will um, remind you when you have uh, 30 seconds. And uh, if you hit the three minute mark, just please finish your sentence and then you will need to um, stop your comments. And uh, we will not be able to respond to your comments today on behalf of TEA, and we cannot ask, ask or answer any questions. So you may begin when you're ready. Good morning. I'm Stephen Alamon. That's S-T-E-V-E-N, last name A-L-E-M-A-N, for the record. I'm representing Disability Rights Texas this morning. Um, Disability Rights Texas is the protection and advocacy agency for people with disabilities in Texas. And we would like to make comment this morning very briefly on the proposed rule amendment to Title 19 Texas Administrative Code Section 102.1601 regarding the uh, Supplemental Special Ed Services Program. Um, our comment is directed to ensuring that if we are going to have this program, that it is equitable in its availability to Texans with children with disabilities. Um, in that regard, um, we have one very minor comment, but nonetheless, we believe an important uh, requested change. Um, the TEA proposes to create a new subsection C, as in CAT, uh, which deals with the award of SSES grants. In specific, uh, subsection C3 uh, would be new. And while it is, uh, an already existing provision, given that technically this is a new subsection, we respectfully request that in addition to creation of the new subsection C3, two words be stricken. And those two words are as necessary. In that clause, uh, it directs the prioritization of funding for low-income Texans with disabilities. We believe that um, the qualifying uh, phrase as necessary is not needed in this rule and uh, would, with the uh, deletion of those two words, clearly signal that um, the awards are available for students with disabilities who are of limited financial means. Um, that is the extent of our requested edits and changes before final adoption of the amendments to 102.1601. And with that, I'll conclude my comments now. Thank you very much. Thank you, Stephen. All right, I will stay on um, as we have no other registrants currently. I will stay on for uh, another five minutes um, before we conclude the hearing.
Okay, as we have no other testifiers, I'm going to go ahead and close the public comment session. And with that, our hearing is adjourned. Thank you.